hi leo welcome back to my channel the light of grace and this is grace it's time for another money job life reading and this will be for the month of april 2023 before anything else i want to say thank you and say my gratitude to all my leos collective who subscribe to my channel i thank you so much for your continued support thank you very much and for the new viewers uh taking out thank you very much for checking out my channel and i'm hoping that there is something about my channel that will assist you and give you some sort of light to guide you with your soul journey this is going to be general reading not everything here might resonate so take what resonates. drop that's not i do not sugarcoat and i say it like what the energy wants me to say to what the divine wants me to say to this is going to be the money reading the leo with job reading leo no job reading and life reading and these are the tangible gift that you're going to be receiving for, for this coming april 2023 coming from the divine and the universe which i will say towards the end so before i start i want to cleanse your energy and the energy of this space for your highest good and if you're sensitive to sound please lower, uh, adjust the volume of your phone or your computer okay Thank you. What's coming to my Leo regarding money this April 2023? You have anxiety. Clarified by the three of wands in reverse. The king of pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have surrendered to rest and sleep. To prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. Truth be told, <coughs> within the next few months, transformation okay it's so cold i wanted to bring the heater here but it's gonna make some loud noise okay so i'm wearing my robe if you see the sleeve of my robe forgive me <laughs> all right so I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this uh, well obviously you're seeing the anxiety here okay so this April 2023, <coughs> one second. it's going to be a little hard for you, Leo, this April 2023. Some of you might end up crying. Some of you is really going to be so anxious. Some of you, you just feel lost and don't know what to do with this. It's overwhelming. It's really impactful because I see the lightning outside and it's scaring you and it's making you anxious, right? So whatever, this lightning can be, can be a representative of some news that you're not expecting and it's making you anxious, making you worried, it's making you sad, it's making you depressed, okay? And it's hard for you to get some sleep with that. It seems like it's in your mind a lot this April 2023. And I think this whole thing is going to happen throughout the 20, the April, to, throughout the month of April. So you're, you're done dealing with everything. And I think whatever this storm that's coming into your life, whatever this bad news that's going to affect your money, you're not happy about it. You're totally not happy about it, okay? You're not ecstatic at all with that news because you're already going through some financial issue and you just have enough. You're losing your patience about it. It's like, this is not going to get better. This is like, it's been happening. When is it going to get better? You know, I don't have enough money in the bank. I don't have enough. It's bothering my confidence it's interrupting my flow in life it's it, i can't move forward i can't enjoy my life
it's not exactly that you're feeling lack. Maybe you do have some money, but not a lot though. But when every time there is a news coming your way, some new situation that's going to ask for your, your money again to go out, like for money to come out of the bank, it's really making people anxious. Believe me, I know, you know, when you everything is going better and all of a sudden, there you are. You're finally getting on your toe and then you are here, you are, you have to spend, you have to pay taxes, you have to pay unexpected bill or something like that it's annoying it's really annoying and it's making people upset right so you you're you're it's affecting your energy and what god is asking you to do what the divine and the universe asking you to do as an advice is to surrender to rest and sleep to get some more sleep to to rest your mind from all this thinking all this worrying to remove yourself from that and get some sleep okay because you're not solving anything if you're just gonna cry you're gonna continue work you're not solving anything anyway this is gonna be here present in your life you can't do anything about it okay but what you need what but what you can do as far as you paying those bills you can't do anything about it you have to pay them anyway but as far as what you can do for yourself is that to transform the situation this is death energy and what i'm getting here is that just it's an energy of just releasing what you cannot control and take control of what you can control that's what i'm getting out of this releasing what you can't control and take over what you can control so you don't feel like you totally lose things okay because life is not perfect and it will never be perfect that's always my thing it will never be perfect there's no perfect life nobody in this world has perfect like even god did not have a perfect life when he was alive so what i'm just trying to say is that what makes our life better livable happier is how we deal with the consequences how deal with the problems how deal with everything that's happening in our life how we deal in day-to-day -day basis and to deal with that is how what information do we put in our mind what what emotions do we put in our heart which emotions and thoughts that we have to prioritize to leave and have a better energy in a daily basis is to stay in the light to stay positive to stay hopeful to do whatever you can to make you survive to do whatever you can in order to live a much better life continue to have faith continue to keep hoping those energies will drive you to be on a lighter energy of life. Yes, you don't have the abundance that you want. Yes, you don't have a perfect relationship. Yes, you don't have a perfect job. But you are deciding to stay in a lighter energy instead of drowning yourself with this shadow energy, this dark energy. It's all about preferences. Some people prefer to just feel, to just cry and sob and self-pity and all that stuff. Yes, that, yeah, you can do that. But do you think you're going to be happy? You're never be going to be, you're not, you're never going to be, you're never going to be happy. Because life is going to continue to be not perfect. To sit in a lighter energy. To move forward that is more positive. It's much better. It makes you, it makes worth waking up the following day. That is the truth. Life is not perfect. But it's all up to you what you do with that situation. Do you want to stay in the dark? Or you want to stay in the light? I probably, I, I prefer light. 
So at least it's a lot easier to deal with and easier to maneuver than to deal with the dark. When dark can just make you feel so like overwhelming and it's, it has a, a, a torturous energy to it. And that's why a lot of people lose their life because they can't get themselves out of darkness. So when you have the chance to get yourself out of darkness and move to light, then take advantage of it. With this, within the next few weeks, there's going to be some changes with your finance in the next few weeks, okay? There's going to be some changes. And you're going to be happy about it. It's not, it might not be a grand, grand change of money, but it will change. Now let's go to Leo with job. What's coming your way? You have the door to value. Clarified by the hangman in reverse. Ace of pentacles in reverse. Sun in reverse and the full in reverse. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have the surrender stubbornness. This card here has been popular pretty much. It's been uh, coming out of all the reading. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Why? Unlikely. And fulfillment of wishes. <sighs> okay, let's, I'll talk about the door to value later. Let's talk about this. Hangman in reverse, Ace of Pentacles reverse, the Sun in reverse, and the Fool in reverse. And let's just add this stubbornness. Okay. What I'm getting here with the Sun here, I feel like you're not happy. With, you're not going to be happy this month. And it seems like it's not going to be a productive month for you. Because there is a hesitation to take a leap of faith here and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. With the hangman here in reverse and the stubbornness, it feels like you are stubborn to change your way. It's either your way or the highway, but lately you haven't been your way. It feels like you, your way is much better than the other way or your thought is better than the other people's thought or suggestion or ideas. You're not, you don't have the willingness or you have a hard time receiving the perspective of others or the ideas of others because you think yours is better. Or maybe you have a hard time doing what other people suggestive ideas to your work and here like ah, i don't want to do it nah. you know kind of like stubborn being hard-headed you you have you don't have flexibility as far as adopting to new things to changes at work so what's happening here is that you're not happy about it and it seems opportunity is also in halt because you're not really to go through it and you're not willing to receive any changes that's happening at work you're refusing to go with it some of you you're not happy because whatever project whatever uh, thing that you're working on was not able to come into fruition or it's not coming into fruition it's slow and you don't understand it there is an energy of stubbornness there, stubbornness there too. Now, and you ask yourself why. 
why is this happening to me why is it not coming to fruition why this shit is in my present why 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 maybe if you look into the book read it maybe you're gonna gain some perspective to why Maybe if you open this book, you're going to gain some perspective and understanding to why things are happening the way it's happening to you. You do have curiosity to open this book, but it seems like you're stubborn or you're just being hard-headed to open it because you don't want to see what you want to see. You just don't want to do anything that is not to your comfort zone. Maybe in your head you're thinking, I like, no, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So why bother you people? You know, we keep changing the system. You keep changing this. Oh, how my project is working. I don't know why you, you're not take, giving it as a credit or make it happen when, when it's going to work. It's unlikely going to fail. You, you have all this thing here. There's an energy of resistance. You're questioning things. But here's the thing that maybe you're not seeing. The door to value is going to come into your life, Leo. Despite that you are sitting in this kind of not so happy, pessimistic, not accepting, not receiving energy, this door to value is going to come to you. It's going to enter your door. It could be an increase, it could be a job upgrade, it could be anything that you're wishing. This is about your wish that's going to be fulfilled and it's going to be entering your door this April. You're going to be happy about it. And here's the thing about, I'm just going to say it and I hate to say it, but I'm going to say it. People are so good at complaining. We human are so good at complaining about the imperfection of life. Not just the work, but everything that is not going well in our life, we complain. We love it so much. We don't even admit that we love to complain, but we do complain a lot. And sometimes excessively and sometimes obsessively. And next thing you know, all of a sudden, pam, turn around. Things get better. Things get this. Do you see, do you see that um, turn of event, the turn of energy? Maybe we can, we can just cut a little bit of that complaining and stay positive. Instead of draining our energy to be on a negative Nancy side, to be in this unhappy side, a complainer side, because sometimes at some point in life, we're going to get some blessings, you know? That's what I'm just saying, okay? Let's go to the Leo with no job. What's coming your way? You have the journey in reverse. Clarified by the lovers. Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords in reverse. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have surrender. You need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them rewrite. You be yielding, not rigid. This will help solve, resolve conflicts and improve your relationship. Clean it up. Choose a new direction and throat chakra. Okay, there's this first message that's come to my head and I'm going to relay it. it probably, it's probably a side note, a side energy uh, before I forget. Okay, so there is this group of you, maybe a small amount of you 
who is uh, having some financial issue because you not having any job, not you not having any resources, and you are going through some marriage because I see this four of wands and this lovers, okay? I do feel that maybe you're getting married this April or maybe something you're getting married in the near future but the problem is you probably lost your job or you did you don't have a job to support your partner in pushing through to this wedding plan that you have it seems like you're not able to contribute to that wedding maybe when you got engaged you still have a job and after months after that you lost the job but you cannot push back the, the the wedding so you have to continue planning it but there's no um money that you can help to contribute so it seems like it's it's causing you some emotional turmoil And maybe you're thinking that maybe it's better to not go through with the wedding right now because you don't have the money. And that is the direction that you're leading into. That is a side note, not for everyone. So not, now let me read this general reading. So for the journey being in reverse, this, when it's upright, this is about moving forward. This is kind of like the full energy, okay? This is about, it's like a full energy. But as far as the full energy is usually zero, but this is two and two is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is the high priestess, but, you know. But let's just follow for a moment this journey, okay? This is about taking a leap of faith, carrying all your stuff with you and traveling and, and taking a journey despite that you that this bridge is not so sturdy because there's only one side that has thing to hold on to but this lady is not holding into anything she's just holding this light to kind of shine her path and her belongings it's really hard for her so but she's still taking that journey but having this journey it's about um for some reason you can't take the journey for some reason you can't take a leap of faith for a reason there is a hindrance an obstacle that's blocking your path to to find a job so right now, this April, you having a hard time finding a job or somehow you halted yourself from finding a job or you're deciding that you're not going to have a job right now, okay? So there is a decision that needs to be made here to bring stability again because for some reason, you are stuck in this emotional turmoil and I think you're being hard-headed with this because you think that the best way to do it is to not do anything at this point in time. But the fact is I'm having this throat of chakra, it means like you're just saying it because you just wanna say it because you're broken and you're, you're not happy that, that you don't have the job, that you don't have the stability. As far as advice and guidance and message from the divine and the universe, they say in a surrender, you need to always be right. That maybe there's some people surrounding you or around you that's giving you some advice, but you're not listening to them because you're being rigid. You're having a hard time yielding. You're having a hard time listening to them because maybe it's the ego. Or maybe you just don't want to admit to yourself that you're failing. That is also the ego. So you're telling yourself, oh, it's better to not find a job right now. It's better not to do anything right now. It's just the, 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 the economy is not doing well. The market is not doing well. It, there's not a lot of job opening. You're just telling it to yourself because your ego. Your ego is hurt. So you're having all this excuse to say to yourself and to others that that's why you're, not, that's why you're deciding not to do anything. But you're telling a lie. But these people surrounding you, they care about you. This is somebody maybe you're living with. Maybe it's a partner. Maybe it's a husband and wife. Maybe it's a girlfriend. Maybe it's a mom, dad, sister, whatever. You know, they're giving you some support and some assistance to really help you find a job. But there is an ego here. There is this thing that's holding you to listen. The divine here is 
telling you to clean up, clean it up, okay? To, to kind of remove all this nonsense that you're talking to yourself, that you're telling yourself that it's not true. This is the time when you kind of clean up the mess so you can see better. You can see better. These are all the negative thoughts, negative thoughts, negative talks that you're doing to yourself. Push it away. Clean it up. What is the what is the things that I need to see? What do I need to see? This throat chakra is not just about expressing one's feelings or one's thought. This is also about the authentic self. This is about bringing your true authentic self, being honest to yourself. Honesty lies in this throat chakra for me, okay? Because when you say the truth, that's when your throat is open. But when your throat chakra is closed, you lie. You're not honest. So authenticity is coming from here. So the divine is saying you have to be honest. Okay, remove those things that's making you dishonest. Remove those things that's, that make you lie or remove the lie. Instead, be honest with yourself. And I bet you once you do that, you're going to realize that there is a different direction you have to take. It's not about not doing anything. It's about a different option, a different direction, a different perspective that you need to choose. Because the, the, because the lover is here. This is choices. You have to make a choice. But the choice is going to be different from what you think it's right for you. And whatever that choice, based on honesty, based on truth, based on the based on what's positive it's gonna bring you the stability you might get lucky you might find a job because you listen to somebody maybe you find a job because you listen to your true self because you did not listen to your ego you never know so be authentic be real and make the right choices for your highest good. Let's go to the Leo life. What's coming your way? You have the community in reverse. Clarified by the five of pentacles. Queen of swords. Ten of cups in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse, the Tower, Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords in reverse, advice, guidance, and messages from the Divine and the Universe surrendered to your soul's path. Your, your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth embrace every lessons and every moment you're not the first one who got this you're one of those people who got this today uh, this month soulmate soulmates and uh, no and base chakra or root chakra I'm going to be straightforward to you, Leo. Like what I said, I do not sugarcoat. So having this community in reverse here is not going to, you're not going to be in a celebratory, happy energy surrounding with people or with your family or friends. You're not, you're just not going to be into having fun or going out there and enjoying time with your friends. You are sort of isolating yourself and you are not happy okay and maybe the reason why is that you don't have enough money five of pentacle is here you're not happy because you don't have enough money to to bring to the table with your for your family for your friends for your whoever you, at home space you're not happy because you don't have enough money it seems like you don't know what to do with that you don't you can't find answer you don't you can't make a decision. It seems like it's so hard. You feel like you're lost. 
and for some of you you seems to be there's some breakups with the relationship yeah with the soulmates in here maybe somebody walk away from this relationship that really did not expect it startled you it it overwhelms you it surprised you same thing for this one here this situation with no money and 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 or just feeling lack it's just so much of an en energy it's so intense it's so strong and overwhelming and the others are maybe somebody walk away from a relationship it's a breakup a separation a divorce or something like that Maybe you cut this person in your life, you cut off this person because I have the queen of swords in here. Because they're lying, because I have the seven of swords here. So maybe you cut off somebody in your life because they lied to you. And and this, or you walked away from this person, or this person walked away from you once you you talk to them about this. You you confront them about this. Because for some reason you just could not stand it anymore you had enough of it okay that's for some of you not for all of you and for some of you you're going through some big event in your life this event is kind of because the tower is is to me is a positive energy i always consider even though it it has a harsh way of delivering itself to people's life you know when they stop buying your house they just gonna you're gonna be totally surprised with this but there's a reason to why this tower comes into your life because there is something that needs to change in the way you handle your life the way you you deal with your life the way you handle uh, the way the thing that is going in your life or the way you see yourself this tower is, is, is a reason. There is a reason why they come to you because there is something that needs to be taken down. Because it's no longer for your highest good. It's not working for you anymore. Things that need to be cut off in your life. This event is so overwhelming. It's so, it's so, it's too much. It's too much and that's probably why you're sitting in this not so celebratory energy. You don't want to mingle with anybody. You don't want to talk to anybody. You're isolating yourself. And if that's not the case, you're just not happy at this point in time. You're feeling depressed. You feel like you don't have any support. You don't have any soul tribe in your life that can understand you or maybe this is what you're thinking and maybe nobody understand you so why would i share this to anybody why would i tell my problems to somebody they're not going to understand it because you don't feel like you're supported you don't feel like there's people there that really can that really willing to help you or maybe you don't really have anybody around you to support you in this this hardship that you're going through in life Your foundation is not strong enough. Your foundation is not strong enough to stand a storm, my dear Leo. Whatever you have built in in your life, in one aspect or all of it, is there, it's not strong enough. If it's a relationship, this relationship is not strong enough. That's why it's crushing down. If you're, if it's about money, there's something that you're doing that is not strong enough. That's why it's crashing down. That's why you feel lack. Or this could just be your soul. This could be just your spirituality. That your faith in you, your your self, your authentic self is not there. It's not strong enough to stand anything because you're leaving a lie. You're leaving uh, a life that is not good for you that is not for your highest good so this is about foundation this is about the root chakra it's not strong 
so the universe and the divine is say let let's help you leo we're not here to torture you we're not here to hurt you yeah you might feel hurt but this is for your highest good and if you handle it with care if you know what to do with this and if you win this battle you're gonna gain so much more than what you expected and you will be surprised and you're probably gonna say thank god it happened you're gonna appreciate this storm that comes into your life this tower moment that comes into your life this tower is here to wake you up this tower is here to crush down the things that is not for your highest good anymore you might not like it you might not happy about it but hey it's for your highest good the reason this soul soul spot this soul journey come to you because you are being awakened by the higher realm by god by the universe because they're seeing that there is something in your life that is not good for you and you deserve much more than that you deserve to have people that support you. You deserve to have soul tribe around you. You deserve to have a better relationship than what you're having right now. You deserve to have much more abundance than what you're just, what you are getting right now. Right now, you're settling for whatever that's there. It might not be so happy relationship. It might not be so mm, abundant or paycheck or maybe your paycheck is not much more not you're not getting a lot of money from your job or appreciation from your job you're settling for less and you deserve much more leo so again god give you this tower the universe throw you this tower to kind of lead you to this soul's path soul's path it's a path that you're going to be learning something. It's a path that you're going to grow bigger. It's a path that you're going to expand your mind and your energy and your heart space into a much more wider space when you can explore, when you can expand, when you can be happy, when you can gain more. Because right now you are in a restrict, restricted place. You're kind of like stuck in this box. This is all what you see yourself. This is what you think you're just capable of getting. This is what you think you deserve. This is what you're, you're comfortable with this box. But God said, no, you can do more than this box. Why don't I break this box open for you? And here you are, you got startled because, oh my God, now I don't have protective, you know, protection for myself and what are these things they're gonna just come into me and attack me and so you're just being so negative nancy and you're being so pessimistic and you're being so you're not comfortable you're scared it's true when there's no protection when there's no shield that we think those are supporting us and protecting us you may feel scared because somebody might come into our space but the thing is once that box is open and it's actually being opened by the divine for you because God and the universe want you to see these are the things that you can attain these are the things that you can achieve these are the things that you can have for yourself it's not going to be easy to get there but those are possible things that you can have you can you can find the right people the right soulmate the right relationship you can find the right job you can find the more abundance in your life, emotional abundance, financial abundance, mind abundance. There's so much more. There's no limitation. And you can have a fabulous time. You can have, you can enjoy life. You can, you can open your heart more to mingle with people and have fun. Yes, life is not going to be perfect. Like what I'm saying, life is not perfect and it will never be perfect. I'm not trying to be pessimistic. No, because that life is. There's always a time in our life that's going to come crashing down. And the most important thing is how we deal with that situation to make it less perfect, to make it less non-perfect. The universe is knocking on your door, Liam. 
the universe is awakening you to your true self, to your authentic self, to the life that you deserve. They're opening your eyes to the things that you can achieve. It's a matter of if you gonna take advantage of it, if you gonna take a leap of faith and grabbing that opportunity. You have anxiety, door to value, journey in reverse and community in reverse. Like what I said, there is this opportunity, a door that's being opened to you. This is a very tangible opportunity that will change your life if you grab it. Yes, it can make you anxious. Yes, you might hesitate to take advantage of it, to take a leap of faith of it because you are in your comfort zone. But this door to value will, will release you from being unhappy, from anxiety, from fear. And actually give you the courage and the strength and the bravery to push forward in your life and to ex to experience and explore what else that there's that's what else that you can have in your life. These are the gift from the divine for you. Wisdom, good health. job financial abundance and freedom so for the ones who's waiting for a job there but probably a good amount of you that's going to get a job this april that's going to help you with your financial situation okay there's for people who's having anxiety with their problem with their financial problem there is this going to be assistance coming your way you're going to have good health this april okay if you're sick if you're going to feel better you're going to get better and um and otherwise you can have good health all of you okay most of you i'm hoping most of you now here's the freedom and the wisdom coming in the wisdom, there is something that divine wants you to learn here. This is wisdom that you need to learn, that you need to adapt, that you need to embrace. And whatever this wisdom is that, that God wants you to understand, that God wants you to know, it's going to set you free. That's what I'm trying to say. The universe crack up this box that you're kind of comfortable to be in. It's kind of dark in the box. There might be a little holes there that you poke so you can see a light, but then it's dark most of the time. Now the universe crack it open. You're like in a huge open space. But then you're realizing, wait a minute, the, what are those beautiful things that I'm seeing? And this sun feels good. This light feels good. But there's distance to achieving those beautiful things. And you're scared that if you step out of the box that you're going to get attacked by a lion or something, you know. You have this fear. But once that box opens, there are wisdom that needs to learn. Wisdoms that you need to take with you. And those wisdom will set you free. And not just that. The universe is setting you free. It's up to you what you do with that. It's kind of like getting out of prison. You know, you're finally getting out of prison. And now it's up to you what you do with it. It's your decision. It's your decision if you want to take this wisdom. But if you want to go back to the old ways of doing it, hey, you still have the right to make this decision. You have the will. But what's going to end up doing it? If you go back to your same, same old patterns, you're going to go back in jail guaranteed. But now, if once this is just an analogy, okay? It's a good analogy, actually. Now, when, when you set free, you're done. You get out of prison. Now you have this whole thing, this world to, to, to explore. Why don't you explore? Why don't you take advantage of what this thing that will offer you, this freedom? Because the divine is setting you free. Now you have to, it's up to you what you do with this. 
maybe this is the time to redeem yourself maybe this is the time to better yourself maybe this is the time or opportunity to 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 achieve the things that you did not achieve when you were in prison or when you were inside the box take advantage take a journey take a leap of faith take advantage of those doors that is opening for you because there are beautiful things that you can gain out of entering those doors out of taking a leap of faith you gonna gain you gonna know new people that are your soul tribe you gonna be um meshing with people that is gonna be for your high school the right partner the right relationship and sight is gonna be there here and there but if you know how to handle them by gaining this wisdom it's not going to be much of a worry and not much of an anxiety. I hope you're understanding what I'm trying to say. But this is an awakening for you. This is an awakening. This is a door that's being opened to you and it's up to you if you grab it or not. But it's a beautiful door. And I hope you won't miss this. I hope you would take a leap of faith in this. This is your reading, my dear Leo. I thank you so much. I am sending you lots of love and light. Bye.